Right, we've got a few questions for you this month. And of course, as ever, I get an opportunity to butcher somebody's name and humiliate myself. So it is traditional, I suppose. Let's get let's get it going. Uh, from Kuyen Bui. Here we go. Uh, they write, I want to test this nation uh, and offer and see if the offer fits. Um, the idea is that this is not an extra pain point, but an extra support to make a big life decision. So here is the title. Getting to yes with the one. It's an invitation to work one-on-one -on -one with me, Kuyen, uh, on the most important yes in your life. This offer is for a fun, growth-oriented, entrepreneurial professional whose top priority is to meet and confirm a long-term committed relationship with your ideal partner. All right. Yeah. Ready for me to continue? Yeah. Okay, so next up, the starting point. Uh, you've dated and been in relationships before, and now you're ready for the next level of commitment wisely and decisively. Not just going by instinct, which has burned you before. Yeah. Right. You you really want something healthy and lasting. Yeah. You have a pool of potential partners and don't want to waste time on the incompatible ones. Yeah. Okay. The desired future state. One, clarity. You will know who exactly is the right person for the right next level of commitment. Two, confidence. You can ask for that commitment and be okay with any response from the other side. Three, courage. You will say no as soon as you realize this is not a fit so as not to waste anyone's time. Great. And the last piece, the big outcome, know it in your bones. You are obviously my life mate. Beautiful. That's all? That's all. So to recap, I hope I want to test if this niche and offer fits. Well, I mean, first of all, where we was doing it 10, 15 years ago for most of us. <laughs> uh, the... Okay, getting to yes with the one. I like it as a name. I don't understand why entrepreneurs, like why that, it, it feels like a bit of a shoehorning in. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really get into why is it that they're so busy? Is it, I just don't see the connection there. So this is just something for everyone. It's a, entrepreneur is a demo, demographic. It's an external thing. It's something I could find out, hire a private investigator and learn about you, but um, if we're going to have a demographic, there's got to be a reason. So if you say, I want to work with men, I want to work with women, I want to work with people 25 to 30, it's good to be clear why that. Um, because sometimes when you look at why, you realize there is no reason, actually. Um, so it might be that Korean just likes working with entrepreneurs because they've got a lot of energy, yeah. or they're a positive person. I, you know, I'm not sure what um, it would be, but that that was a stumbling block for me. I heard it and said, why entrepreneurs? I don't get it. Um, also, what stage of entrepreneurship, if it is an entrepreneur? Um, is it just that they're, they're doing a startup and they're way too busy for, you know, for dating, they don't have time to waste, or uh, are they already a successful entrepreneur? And now they want somebody to share it with a big difference between in, in the moment versus when they're starting versus later. Uh, wants a long-term committed relationship, great. So they dated, they're ready for the next, they're not ready for the next level. There's a lot of really great articulation, I think, of violin A there. The only quibble I would have on this is when he says, no, you'll know who the right person is. Um, it sounds like a promise that you're going to have a specific name. And I think a more realistic promise is you're going to know the type of person. Like you're going to know 
because maybe life has not provided you with that person yet. And so it could be a setup for Korean where people get disappointed. Like, you said I'd have a name, uh, you know, I'd know who it was and I don't see that person. I don't. So instead, like I know the type of person by which I'll be able to discern and tell if this is a partner for me or not. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's a fantastic offer. I don't know what the price is on it. I don't know how many calls or what the structure of it is. Um, and so for those who are interested, you know, if, you're, if your niche is pretty solid and you've come up with an offer, you've got to take it through um, this thing called the value slider or the helpful tool. It's just marketingforhippies.com slash value slider, I think, or value dash slider. And it's... Um, a series of questions you can ask yourself about any offer that you have to see how does it stack up in terms of the the value piece, you know, the return on investment. So that's those are my thoughts. I think it's great work. Lovely. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm also curious about this intersection of fun uh, and entrepreneur as well. Like what that brings out, what's special about this particular place for, for the dating world. Yeah, and it may just be that Koyan enjoys working with entrepreneurs, enjoys people who are kind of fun. And, you know, I, I suppose if we could dig deeper into that, it would be, well, what do you mean by fun? I mean, if I had a group of 30 people and I said, everyone, write down the top five words associated with fun for you or the top five activities that you think are fun, we might not have any overlap at all hmm. or, or very little. So, I think defining that term would also be helpful. And that's the kind of thing that can go further down. You know, in the ideal client, there's the, there's just what's the issue? There's the kind of the must, the headline, the here's who this is for. But then you can have the, it'd be really nice if like, hey, we could be a great fit if you're an entrepreneur. If you're, you're fun and you enjoy activities like this, that kind of stuff probably doesn't belong on the top. It's probably further down. It's like a sub filter. The first filter is just, do you want to, you know, get a life partnership? That's the first thing. And if, and if it's no, I'm not interested in a life partnership, uh, you know, I'm polyamorous or, um, I'm, you know, just jaded and cynical and I don't, I'm not interested in relationships or, uh, I'm already married, whatever it is, great. So you've already filtered people out, but then somebody says, yes, I'm interested in that. Then that secondary level uh, can come in. And of course, this this whole niche is very rife for point of view. I find myself curious, you know, if I was talking with Korea and I'd probably say, well, how do you do that? And what's your, what's your take? Why do people struggle so much with this? And I have all sorts of questions I want to ask, which is a good sign. Um, and... I think for Kuyin, one of the, the important things is going to be that because lots of dating coaches out there, there's probably lots of coaches who offer this exact same thing, you know. So then why him? Now, part of it will just be the see him, see his vibe, like him. Uh, but I also want to know the point of view. So this is where a signature workshop, a starter kit, this is where the social media can be handy. I just want to be able to check Korean out to see, like, do I like him? Do I like his vibe? Do I resonate with his point of view? Does it seem credible? Because otherwise, uh, it's not safe. And uh, I don't want to spend 10 hours trying to figure it out. I want to be able to go to a website. And from that website, I just want to know, is do I want to explore more? And then maybe I'd sign up for a starter kit then maybe I'd sign up, you know, whatever the pink spoon is. Um, and if I like that, you know, and maybe I'd been following him on social media. I was like, no, I really like this guy. Something would happen in my life where it's okay. Now I'm ready to spend money, you know, take a next step. And then what is that next step and how much does it cost? Because at the abstract level, in terms of, is this a situation that people urgently want help with? Yes, totally, clearly. Um, is the particular offer he's going to offer something I would be willing to spend money on? That's a totally different question. You know, it's always relevance, credibility, value. So I'd say the relevance is nailed. Credibility is largely absent and value, I have no idea. But in terms of relevance, like, great. Great. 
Okay, and I hope this uh, hope this helps you out.